Um, so I'm Sarah Maria Davies, and I'm here with uh, Anna Torgenrud and Luke Nichols, who are three of seven directors of Bike Regina, uh, Bicycle Advocacy, Education, and Community Building in Regina. Thank you for the opportunity to speak this evening. Uh, the City of Regina recently approved an official community plan and is developing the Transportation Master Plan, as you know. As a Design Regina stakeholder, Bike Regina is pleased that the Administration and Council have recognized the value in providing a transportation alternative that enable year-round integrated, sustainable, and affordable choices to Regina residents. We look forward to continue to collaborate with you on the TMP, and we're optimistic for the future of cycling in Regina when both the OCP and the TMP are into implementation, implementation stages. Uh, however, prior to implementation, Council can optimize current infrastructure plans by taking small but significant steps towards a, a citywide multimodal transportation network. Upon review of the 2014 budget, we were concerned that no funds have been specifically allocated for development of new on-street or pathway cycling infrastructure. Uh, this same issue was raised previously in 2013, 2013 to our, with our budget review uh, response. Uh, we would like to invite Council to be progressive stewards by giving priority to improving the cycling environment in 2014. In advance of the OCP and the TMP, Council can show their commitment to the tone and the intent of these plans by directing administration to allocate capital or operational funds for the following items. First uh, would be documented consideration of cycling or cycling infrastructure on planned road improvement projects uh, for 2014, especially roads where um, the OCP has already plans for uh, cycling infrastructure to be developed. Secondly, uh, documented cons consideration of spot improvements uh, that were proposed and submitted by Bike Regina to uh, administration in 2013 during uh, OCP meetings. Uh, third, the consideration of uh, human and financial resources to be allocated to ensure annual planning and promotion of Commuter Challenge Week, which this year is June 1st to 7th. Um, then uh, consideration of road diets or uh, cycling infrastructure as co traffic calming measures within the budget of 221000 for traffic safety infrastructure. And finally, uh, that no further funds be allocated to signage that discourage cycling, uh, specifically when not supported by traffic bylaw 9900 or by other municipal bylaws. And then we would also like to highlight uh, the importance of requests which we made in 2013, uh, two specifically, which uh, the first is to develop a high level, higher level of road clearing maintenance through reclassification of on-street cycling, designated cycling routes to a priority one clearing, and also allocating funds for more consistent and regular uh, gravel sweeping or curb to curb snow removal and ice along both roads and multi-use pathways. And uh, to, secondly, to establish a line of communication between relevant business units, uh, including parks, Wascana Center and roads, to ensure that on-street and off-street cycling facility design, construction, and maintenance uh, is effectively and holistically managed. Um, in closing, we are encouraged by future plans, such as the 2015 Sustainable Infrastructure Pilot Project, and we would like to thank you uh, for involving Bike Regina in the OCP and TMP process, uh, for some of you for, t for participating in our community events, and also for uh, responding to individual Bike Regina member uh, maintenance requests. Um, this all this uh, confirms your commitment to active transportation, and addressing our concerns uh, will further demonstrate your commitment and will begin to address uh, the vision outlined by the approved OCP uh, to enhance the existing transportation system while focusing on the community priority of creating and promoting better and active transportation options. And we welcome any questions that you would have. Thank you very much for your presentation. Are there questions of delegation? What's the price? Thank you. I'm just wondering what your group would, uh, what they're thinking about the, um, on the front of the bus, the bike racks. How has that been working out? And um, is it something that your group utilizes often? 
A number of mem members have anecdotally said that they, they do use it. Um, some people are afraid to uh, because they're not sure how it works, but I know on the transit website uh, it, there's a video that explains and uh, people have had positive um, experiences with bus drivers even getting out of the bus to help someone put their bike on it. So those are very positive, yeah. It's, um, it helps uh, early, uh, beginner cyclists that maybe wouldn't want to cycle across the entire city. Uh, they can do a portion of their ride uh, with the bus. Very well. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, thank you so much for your presentation. It's very encouraging to see what the work you folks have done. Um, can you just explain how you tie into the transportation master plan exactly? Like, you've been consulted already to be a part of the process. Still use? Yeah, we have been a, a stakeholder that uh, we've been involved in the consultation process, yeah. Okay, and do you feel it's been at an appropriate level? I was going to say, one of the things I appreciate is a lot of your recommendations aren't uh, budget heavy. You know, they're, they're tweets. There's a lot, seems to be a lot of low line food when it comes to improving the cycling experience here. So, um, do you think you're plugged in enough? Uh, so long as we continue being plugged into the same level. Uh, we've, we've been very uh, pleased with having been invited uh, by council and then by executive um, advisories uh, groups to continue uh, presenting or giving our opinion. So if that continues, we will we'll continue to be pleased. Great, thanks. Councilor Gall. Uh, thanks. Um, the comment you made about signage that discourages biking, would you inform me, please? Okay. Um, we've noticed in the past <laughs> about 14 months, signs, uh, both along the multi-use pathways, over bridges, or, uh, for example, under underpasses that say cyclists dismount. Uh, a, a better wording on signs such as that, especially, for example, with Broad Street, where it's a designated bike path, would be uh, cyclists yield to pedestrians. That way, you're encouraging people to cycle uh, on a spot where they're legally supposed to cycle. Thank you. Now I understand. So now I'm going to just deviate slightly. I was in Calgary last week. You talked to other people. That, yeah. So there was open warfare in Calgary last week on bike lanes. So um, it doesn't seem to be that way here. I, I know your numbers are not large, but I don't hear about warfare as it was there. So could you just help me understand why in some places that happens and why it's not here? We're friendly people. <laughs> Mr. Reese, or I'll speak to this. Um, the reason why it's open warfare in Calgary at the moment is because they're trying to do a very large, very aggressive um, infrastructure project. So they've got like thousands, $22 million over the next five years that they're trying to do. Um, and they're trying to implement a two-way, take a whole lane out completely off First Street, South East of Empires. Um So yeah, it's, it's a very large project and that's why it's been very popular. Other questions? Thank you very much for the uh, great presentation. We say you can return to the gallery and we'll move on to.